Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. This week's Future of New York City conference asked NBC Universal's Jeff Zucker, Ogilvy and Mather's Shelley Lazarus, and Mort Zuckerman of the New York Daily News to discuss the troubles media companies and ad agencies are wrestling with. And there were plenty of problems to go around in a local industry wracked by a digital revolution and a severe recession. And I think the problem is, you know, as we work our way from this analog world to this digital world, you know, there's a tremendous amount of pain, there's a tremendous amount of uh, lost revenues, and, you know, in figuring, figuring that out, uh, we're going through an unbelievable transition. And so the economic problems that we're all experiencing now, on top of a tremendous transition, is almost a double whammy to the entire media business. Nobody expected to be fighting both battles at the same time, and so it's, I think that's really what we're all struggling with. Mr. Zucker was also asked what the city could specifically do to help those struggling companies. There are things that the, both the state and the city can do that have been important. And the state's tax incentive uh, has been critically important, as has the city's. Uh, the city has been fantastic in its support uh, of both motion picture and, and television production. Uh, but the fact is, um, and, and the fact is, uh, the, the facts are on the side that for you know, every dollar of tax incentive that is given, a dollar ninety in tax revenues comes in. So there's no question that these work. Uh, the fact is, in 2007, I believe the uh, the number was something like 220 million dollars uh, brought in fr from additional uh, tax revenues through through these tax incentives. But the problem is, uh, by the end of uh, this month, I believe the state's uh, tax uh, incentives um, will have run out. And I believe that the, the television companies that made 19 pilots for programs last year uh, in New York City um, thus far have committed to making zero this year uh, because the, uh, the incentives are, are, are probably not going to be there unless, unless they're furthered. So I think that's a real issue uh, and, and the facts clearly are on the side of this works. So I would encourage the state and the city both of which have been tremendous in their support to continue it. And then I think the other, the other thing that I think that both the state and the city can continue to uh, uh, help us with is the protection of intellectual <clears throat> property. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.